For the last five years, there was an average of two new HIV diagnoses a year in Penobscot County, but recently the Maine Centers for Disease Control and Prevention has identified a major spike in the disease there. Since October, they say there have been 13 diagnosed HIV cases. News Center Maine's Katie Delaney shows us how community organizations and medical professionals are working to mitigate the spread. This is a priority for us to address. Health professionals say the cluster of HIV cases in Penobscot County is concerning, particularly who's impacted. According to the Maine CDC, 100% of the cases were from injection drug use, and all have also contracted hepatitis C. 11 of the 13 diagnosed were unhoused in the last year. Those are the patients that are often hardest to make sure that they are getting routine primary care. And um, a lot of the times that's because of the stigma uh, associated with being unhoused. Leaders of Bangor Public Health say meeting people where they're at is essential to fighting this outbreak. The department offers walk-in testing for HIV and hepatitis C and goes out into the community to get at-risk people tested and connected to treatment. We try to provide the most accessible care to people who may not have um, access to health care otherwise. Specializing in uh, earning trust and building relationships among people who are experiencing houselessness is primary. The Health Equity Alliance has been providing medical case management for people living with HIV since 1987. The nonprofit also runs one of the few syringe exchange programs in Penobscot County to prevent people from sharing needles. Making sure that we get uh, new and sterile syringes in the hands of people who need them uh, can help mitigate the spread of infectious diseases like HIV up to 50 percent. To prevent HIV, medical professionals advise not sharing or reusing needles and using condoms. Those who are at risk of HIV can also prevent contracting it by taking pre-exposure drugs. Though HIV is not curable, it is treatable. Health professionals say there is hope for people who are diagnosed. There are services. People can live long, healthy, happy lives with HIV, and we just want to make sure that people who've been, you know, particularly diagnosed as part of this cluster have access to those services. The Maine CDC says it's working with community partners to increase access to HIV and hepatitis C testing, provide prevention and harm reduction services, and connect those diagnosed with medical care. In Bangor, Katie Delaney, New Center, Maine.